Hey there, Steve here, hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll show you five chords to get started with math rock. The chords that you'll see in this video have their roots in jazz, but their application is very different from jazz. And of course, these aren't the only chords that you'll find in this style, but these are just five chords I like, and I think that you'll enjoy too. As I play each chord, there'll be a little box on screen showing you the fingering and the name for the chord. So if you feel like I'm going a bit too fast, you can pause the video and uh, take it at your own pace. So the first shape I'm gonna show you is a major nine chord, and this is my favorite chord. And I'm gonna show it you starting from the A string here. And this is an F major nine chord. And the next chord we're gonna have is a, a minor nine shape, and we're gonna play a D minor nine, again from the A string. And this is on the fifth fret here. And the next chord is going to be a minor 11 shape, and this is going to be from the E string, and we're going to play an A minor 11 chord, and that's from the 5th fret on the E string. And the next chord, it's got a bit of a fancy name, it's a, a major 7 sus 2, or you could look at it as a slash chord, but it basically means the 3rd has been changed in the chord to a 2nd. This is a C, C major 7 sus 2. And the last shape I'm going to show you is a minor 7 shape starting from the low E string, and we're going to play a B minor 7. I'm borrowing my ring finger across these three strings. But you could play it like this if you haven't got enough strength there. So, to reiterate all those chords, major 9, minor 9, minor 11, major 7 sus 2, a minor 7. So now we have the chords, I'm going to show you two useful progressions that you could use, and I want you to take these away and experiment with making your own ideas. So the first one is going to be an F major 9, D minor 9, and a C major 9. And this is a 4-2-1 progression if you're interested uh, in terms of a key and what chords they relate to. And the second progression is a variation, so it starts again on this F major 9. Then we go to an A minor 11. Then we go to C major, C major 7 sus 2. And then we go to B minor 7. have some fun coming up with different various strumming patterns. Of course these chords alone don't make this math rock right so we need to look at things like like I was doing there using different rhythms and stuff that you'd kind of hear within the style and another big staple of math rock as well as these chords is a, a thing called odd time signatures. Instead of playing in like 4-4 four, four, so for example like a straight strumming pattern of 4-4 four, four, for example like 1 and 2 and 3 Math rock would be likely to do something, for example, we could do 5 8. And what I'm doing there, so if you take a signature of 5 8, and I'm subdividing this, and this is a very common practice, what to do with our time signatures. So I'm doing, I'm grouping it in a group of 2 and a group of 3. So 1 2, 1 2, 3, 1 2, 1 2, 3. And you get this strumming pattern from that. So 1 2, 1 2, 3. Take that slowly, do it with each chord. You could also just accent the uh, subdivision that you've made, so like one two one two three 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 one two one two three. Let's slow it down. So the count goes up to five, of course, but it's been subdivided. So one, two, one, two, three, 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 one, two, one, two, three. And that's with both chord progressions there. 
and of course then you can change the subdivision as well so a common that's one common subdivision of 5 8 but you could also do it in a group of 3 and a group of 2 so like 1 2 3 1 2 1 2 3 1 2 1 2 3 1 2 1 2 3 1 2 1 2 3 1 2 1 2 3 1 2 and that's just one common way of subdividing 5 8 there's just one time signature uh, you're likely to find a math rock that there is a bunch of time signatures thrown together which is more fun <laughs> a lot of fun and you know you could mix them up so you could do like one two one two three one two three one two they're going both of them there one two one two three one two three one two one two three one two one two one two three <laughs> and with that's Probably why it's called math rock because now we're doing a lot of mathematics, right? <laughs> and try it like this, just instead of stopping the chord, you might find it easier just to strum and count it at the same time. So one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. Woo! And try that sped up. One, two, three, one, two. Yeah, you can obviously do that kind of thing uh, for every single chord, but then, like I said, you've got all these rhythmic things of mixing things up with different time signatures. But I'm just trying to give you something to get started there, thinking about time signatures and subdividing them. Uh, so we're just going to practice 5-8 for this one. <laughs> 